Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Your Highness. Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Hey everyone. Good scene, everyone. Let's have fun with this one. Best scene in the movie. Rum, 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 rum. Is it bad if I start the scene going like this? Rum, rum, rum. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. We're gonna be out here for three, four hours. Hopefully, we're gonna see some humpbacks, right? Got some humpback whales. They're thinking, what is this? The latest dance craze? The humpback? I don't know how it would go. What would, what would it even be? We'll get on set, edits, and we will all of a sudden see Paul Rudd do some hilarious improv. Oh. I don't have a watch. <laughs> I'm personally a whale head. I, I freak for whales. I love them ever since I was a kid. I'm not trained really in biology or knowing anything about them. I've memorized a couple of facts, but I couldn't go deep. Talk about compact cars. Damn, should have paid those parking tickets. So she's finally doing that. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you, Sonny. You could see in that first film that she was, frankly, more capable than Scott Lang was of being a superhero. And instead of the people off camera pulling their hair out, they're pulling their pens out and they're getting excited. I like weird jokes. By the way, as is Marvel. This is not a whale learning cruise, it's a whale watching cruise. Oh wait, well hold on now. Looks like, looks like we might have some company here, folks. Oh no, my sandwich was in there. Well, at least now I'll be able to park in San Francisco. As does Kevin Feige and Stephen Broussard. They're all comedy lovers. All right, here we go, picture. You'd be shocked at how many insane ideas you can go to them with and they're like, oh yeah, okay, that's cool. Yep, that's yeah, a breach. Oh, look at that, it could be Moby Mick. That's uh, Moby Dick's Irish cousin. And her father, because of the loss of her mother, emotionally didn't want her to do this. And now we get to see her with the gloves off and becoming a superhero. Oh, man, I just stole this car. Thank God it's a rental. Because these are not small movies. So to be able to approach it in that way, where you're really trying some way outside of the box things, that's fun. Okay, folks, I can say that. I'm Irish, Dutch Irish, actually. That's, that, that's, not, that's not a whale. Uh, okay, folks, don't panic, please. Just uh, don't panic. Well, looks like I'm walking. Oh, geez, all my coupons were in there. Maybe you just need someone watching your back. <laughs> like a partner. Talk about diminishing returns. Oh, man. Don't panic. Don't panic. Jump. Jump. Jump overboard. Ah! Daniel Goobler. G-O-O-O-B-L-E-R. There are a lot of things that excite me about Ant-Man and the Wasp, but I think the biggest is to see Wasp herself, to see Hope Van Dyne as a fully formed hero in this movie. G-O-O-O-B-L-E-Y-E-R. G-O-O-O-B-Y-L-E-Y-E-R. Goobler. Daniel. The first and foremost primary motivation and reason to play Hope again was to put on that suit. Well, the 60s were fun, but now I'm paying for it. But if you want, I could jump in your patrol car. We can go out and hunt this perp down. Well, we got to close the bridges down at least, don't you think? You know, I, I was thinking about being a cop myself, but the hours don't make sense. She so desperately wanted to follow in the footsteps of her parents, who had been incredible superheroes in their day and in her formative years. Everything is shrinking on me. The film, not by accident, isn't called Ant-Man 2. It's called Ant-Man and the Wasp. And it's really the story of these characters coming to their own as a team. Follow my lead. <laughs> Let's go. 
Hi, I'm about to. Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Hi. 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 <laughs> Mm -hmm. See you guys.